Hi, I'm Rahima Rahim. And I'm Fatin Amira. Welcome, Welcome to, to Then and, and Now. now. I am 65 years old. I started my entertainment career in 1963. I'm 29 this year and I started singing at the age of 12 years old. It was in 1962 when I first appeared as a child actress in cafe organization. So that was my first gig on camera. You know, and it's on movie, yeah. Ah, so it was very, I mean, uh, frightening and nervous, you know, because as a child star, you don't know what's happening. And I was only um, seven, yeah. yeah. The only thing that I, that I remember about my first gig was at the age of five, actually, my first TV appearance was, uh, I think, in 1997, TV Doblas, right? Oh, yeah, TV 12, yeah. TV 12. I sang with a few of the other children there, uh, alongside with Najib Ali. That was the first kid. <laughs> that was our first kid. <laughs> uh, what I can remember was in 1987, uh, in Tokyo, where I, repre I mean, represented Singapore uh, and um, I met all the stars there, you know, the, the superstars like Gloria Estefan. Yeah, oh, I had breakfast with her, like, wow, you know? Really? And the uh, night performing with Miami Sound Machine together with them, so oh, we shared the same stage. Wow. And Gloria. then I uh, met um, what, Alam Town and uh, the Jets, Cutting Crew, and most of the artists, I mean, world, it's because it's World Music Festival. I have so many memorable gigs, <laughs> yeah. but I think the, the most memorable one, uh, I was invited by the yeah. Football Association Singapore um, to open the S League with uh, Majuna Singapura. That was the most memorable gig. It was really nerve wracking because you are singing a national anthem. You're not singing like a pop song. Like mm -hmm. it's not like an ordinary performance. It's just like you're singing a national anthem. I was at the stadium, right, and then it feels like a uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> Okay, I do not have um, much challenges, especially as a singer, because um, I had full support from my family, from my parents, because they are musicians too. And my mom was a late, I mean, was a, was an actress, a Malay actress, and then my dad was a musician, so he allowed me, you know, to sing all the way. And uh, the only challenges I had is how to face people and how to make them happy and how to entertain them. That's what my challenges is, you know, like until today. So I still, uh, that's my most challenge, I mean, in my life as an entertainer. I'm a very, uh, how I say, reserved person. When I was very young, like at the age of 16, 17, when I just started singing, right? Like you had to like make you make sure to to uh, make it perfect, right? Or yeah, to make it look and sound perfect. And then, of course, the support that I had from my family, uh, they were really, really very supportive. I don't think I have to um, go for like a arts academy because, like, my, my I also come from a musically inclined family and they give 100% support. My mother is a singer, my father is a performer, musician, songwriter. Because right now in this era, you're competing with other, uh, other artists as well, like in the same um, age. So we are always uh, producing different materials every three, three to six months. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be like an artist who, who sound the same like the other 10 artists, no? So I want to be someone who's different. Yeah. So that is a challenge. You have to maybe like look different or sound different. You have to find that sound that, that people remember that it's you. And nowadays, you know, I mean, a lot of uh, people like audience would like to hear your originals. Yeah. yeah. But that also have to thank our lucky star also, whether they want to listen or not. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, of course. <laughs> so how far can we go? That it's, it depends on who is listening. Yeah. All my life, you know, uh, those years, my influence, my most, uh, I mean, uh, influence person was my dad, my father, my late father, Rahim Hamid. He was known as Nat Hinkle of Singapore. 
in the 50s and uh, and my uh, my late uncle Datuk Ahmad Daud you see he was my music teacher so uh, well he he taught me how to sing mm. and uh, my dad taught me how to entertain Mm. Okay, but my mom is, was the biggest critic person oh. in my life. So you don't girl about that. Until <laughs> the last few days of her life, a few weeks, she would say, "You were good." So it's so difficult for me yes. to to hear from her like, "Oh, you sing well." <laughs> no, even though she has the support, she, she totally gave me all the support. You. But she would say, uh, "In Malay, kau ni sengau, you sing with your nose, <laughs> you, know, you, you you know you, you through your nose through nose, and it sound like nasal nasal, nasal, nasal voice." Uh. And I say, "Hey, I'm an American, you know." <laughs> <laughs> But from her critic, I mean mm. the nearest to me, I I said that I will make it through. I said I will show you, mum, that I will do it. I'll make it, and you will see how far I will go. I mean, she mm. was an actress, so she's quite uh, very conservative, Critical. conservative, and conservative very, very and fierce. But my okay. father was very loving and understanding because he was a musician and he was a singer, and he, oh. he sings club in the night, in the nightclub, <laughs> and a very lovable person. So I'm more more near to my father, which I can open up and talk to him. Uh, yeah, so he's very influential. Definitely, my parents. <laughs> I've been like uh, like watching my father um, performing and um, composing and work, working on his own albums, uh, and also I grew up also uh, hearing like my my mother's voice while she's lullaby me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That made me uh, like want to sing. I had to add my grandmother as well because she is. Also one of the biggest influences, like music influence in my um, life, because mm. she's uh, she was the one who actually taught me to sing keroncong. I'm I'm happy and blessed to be um, influenced with good music. These three people are the most important people in my music career. They influenced me a lot with um, good music. Entertainment is my forte, and uh, I love singing. I love entertainment, and all my life until today, um, I'm still standing and performing. As long as people want me, I still perform. But the most important is, you have to be committed, and you have to be responsible for what you're doing, and do not blame other people. And it doesn't matter even you are not being appreciated by audiences, because you did your best. The most important is you must do your best when you are on stage. The people who watch you, they want to be happy. So give your best. Don't worry about tomorrow or whatever. But at the spur moment, just give your best. Commit yourself. Respons be, be responsible for yourself when you stand on stage. And whatever happens, just be strong and positive. Yeah. Okay, the best advice that I got Um, was from my father. He he told me that to stay true to yourself. Um, I as to stay true and to stay focused with your passion. You know, if you want to do it, give your hundred percent. Like don't do it like fifty percent. Like yeah. Like what Malay people say, asal asal buat. So he always say, um, do it with passion and do it properly and to stay true. I started out uh, singing pop songs, right? A lot of people uh, knew about my background, and they were like comparing with my father. I started from pop singing, so my father actually doesn't mind. Um, he told me that you have to stay true to yourself. Uh, don't do it because like people ask you to do it. Mm. Do it because you are a pop singer. So do it properly. But he also reminded that okay, even though you're a pop singer, you must also um, not like not forgetting your roots as a Malay, as a Malay, and also as a Malay singer as well. Whether it's on handphone, or on camera now, or big camera, small camera, it's all on camera that we are looking at and performing at. So it doesn't matter whether you know you are singing on internet or on in the studio or at home. It's the sound that matters. You know, it's how you project your creativity and how you project your voice, your sound. And the most important is. The people 
enjoy your performance. That's to me now. So it doesn't matter. Because to me, it's like singing, miming, <clears throat> It's back to old school because before in the 80s, as in the 70s, no audience also. We sing like just the camera and ourselves. So it's up to who wants to watch you now. Oh yes, yes? who's who watching? Who wants to watch you now? That's the who's watching, one. who's hearing? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I have a different perspective about this mm -hmm. if, because I think this internet is very powerful. It has impacted a lot in my music career because you need to reach out to people, right? Like we can sell music right now through internet, like through iTunes, Spotify. So, so like people from the other side of the world can hear you. So I think it's really good to to have internet. I started entertainment right very young. At the same time, having my cert, I was in the law firm for ten years, mm. and I was in the main agencies for eight years. Even though I work in the office, nine to five, I still perform at night and people still watch me. Oh. So the most important thing, you have to hold what you want. You have to know what you want. I have all, I have both worlds. In the office, I'm just Rahima binti Abdul Rahim. But when I'm on stage, I am the singer Rahima Rahim. That's me. I'm really blessed living in Singapore because, you know, I just feel balanced. Like as much as I love singing, I also helped out with my mom's baking business. Mm -hmm. So uh, we actually have this um, family, like it's like a passed down family tradition, oh, which is the cool. kuetat. That's cool, yeah, I know. I've tasted, the tasted your mom's kuetat. Yeah. <laughs> it's really so, nice, yeah. I am the only great granddaughter who can actually make kuetat. Oh, lovely. So when, um, when I was young, I was, like, I, I was like looking at my grandmother and my mother, they were doing kuetat. So I was like, do I have to do this? Like the question like pops up in my mind, like, do I have to do this? I wanna go I wanna I wanna sing. I don't wanna do all this, but because uh, at that point of time we needed like helpers, so that was the very first time that they actually asked me to like even crimp the tarts and to roll it out and you know, make the shape of the grey tart. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I get a lot of critics and scoldings and all of that jazz. But it has made me um like it gave me like another skill, you know, not only as Fatina Mira as a singer, but also Fatina Mira who can bake. It's not more advice, it's like a tip for you, you know, just something. You, if you like to be in this music scene, you have to be um, creative, of course, you know what is it. And of course, now a, a lot of uh, music, I mean, the people have different kinds of, you know, ideas, ideas and, you know, but um, music is universal. So you have to be committed and you have to love it yourself. And most importantly, what you do, make sure people are happy with it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> happy. Happy. And, and they're happy, they're happy. Yeah. Feel positive. Don't, don't feel down, you know, just. Uh, don't give up, you know, if you feel like doing it, just do it. So, that's life. So just do things that makes you happy. Okay, we come to the end of the show. I'm Rahima. And I'm Fatina Mira. This was Then, then and, and Now. now.